If you're a gardener, then chances are you have to deal with bugs and other pests. Before they destroy your garden, you can take action to save your plants. Everybody Gardens editor Doug Oster is here with safe solutions. Well, not safe for the bugs, right? We could say that. Safe, but safe for, for us. For, safe for <laughs> us, for, safe for the environment. Uh, but I love what you said earlier this morning. You said that not all bugs are bad. So let's Act say that first. Actually, it's the reverse. 99% uh, of the insects in the garden are either good for the garden or benign. So, so that's good. Yeah, and when we're dealing with them, especially if we're concerned about the environment, is we want to do it by specifically targeting whatever the pest or disease is without disrupting the whole balance of nature. When I started gardening, I had cabbage worms really bad. I didn't know what to do. Guy said, oh, get this chemical, and I got it, and I sprinkled it all over my cabbage and stopped the cabbage worms, but then my toddler was walking barefoot through it, and I was like, well, this doesn't make any her? sense at right. all. And I made the transition to organic, and I found out, I thought it was something new. Everybody was an organic gardener before World War II. That's true. There weren't any chemicals. And so back then it was harder to find the products, but now all these products to deal with the problems, they, it can't hurt us, it can't hurt the good bugs, and it can't hurt someone who lives downstream. That's good. And so the first problem we want to talk about are fungal issues. Okay. And with all that rain we had, the number one question I'm getting is tomatoes. Okay. Uh, tomatoes get this early blight and something called septoria leaf spot and it just the bottom leaves turn yellow with brown spots i see yeah Which is and, what we're and, right, now. right and people have been you know growing this tomato since uh, memorial day uh, they they freak out so besides removing that infected foliage there is a, a natural thing that we can use called serenade okay. uh, and it's just this uh it's a what's called a biological control it's not a chemical control but it stops the actual fungal spores from reproducing. Okay. And so again, this is something that we can spray on the plant and it won't hurt your kids, it won't hurt the good bugs. So if you, with that, is it safe, uh, if, the, if you don't stop it, is it still safe to eat the tomato or is it gonna just kill the, the whole plant? Actually, with those early problems, it, it doesn't kill the plant, it just slows it down. Okay. You know, we want as many tomatoes as we can get. The next problem is, is another fungal issue called powdery mildew. And we start to see it right now where you'll see it on lilacs, on phlox, on zucchini and things like that where the leaves kind of look like they have a white powder on them. And so that, that's the next question is like, what do I do about that? Same thing. We use this serenade on any fungal issue like that. Uh, and, and again, without reaching for a chemical, that's the important part. Well, so let's talk about um, chewing insects yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, and slugs as well. These are two issues. Well, let's start with the chewing insects. Uh, and there's a couple different things, the cabbage worms that I talked about. And then also Japanese beetles have been really bad this year. Yeah. First thing, I've, I've you're not going to like this. You're not going to like this. Early morning hand picking. <laughs> Just get a, a little jar with soapy water in it and knock them into the... Okay. Take care of them that yeah, way. Yeah, these are cabbage worms. There's, these are your Japanese beetles. I've they do the same thing. They chew, they chew the leaves. And so what we can use is we can use something that, again, this is called Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew. I know you love Captain Jack's. I, I do. And uh, so do some other people that work. They're just like, Captain Jack's is great. And so for Captain Jack's, it can't hurt you. The bugs eat it, and then uh, they're dispatched. Uh, for slugs, we have something called sluggo. Uh, it's just a little pellet that you put down, and slugs are just little soft-bodied uh, snails without the shell. And they, they, they'll eat hostas, they'll eat marigolds, they'll eat all, all right. sorts of things, so sluggo works for them. If mosquitoes are a problem, get rid of any standing water that you have, but if you've got like a fountain or a, sort of a bird bath or something, this is an organic control, it uses something called BT, B as in boy, T as in Tom. Bacillus thuringiensis, and <laughs> you just put this in here. It can't hurt anything but the mosquito larva. will take care of it, and then you won't have mosquito problems. And that's and that's great. And what's this last product? That's just really fertilizer complete? to make your plants grow strong. When plants grow strong, they'll fight off any pest or disease. Okay, same with us, right? We right. grow big and strong. We can fight off the. Okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Doug. And if you want to hang out with Doug, you can sign up for his next trip to explore the gardens of Italy. That's so much fun. It's coming up in April, but you can learn more and sign up now. Look for trip details and more about today's products to control bugs on Doug's blog. You can look for that link at kdka.com slash PTL.